Ciao, figli! Alrighty, it's been a while. I haven't been posting a video. That's because uh, I came back to New York. I started acting school, so I've been really busy with that and with auditions, so I really don't have the time to edit. But finally, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this haul that I'm about to make about all the stuff that I bought during this month. This is my $2,000 haul in shit for girls. So I went to Sephora, I went to Ulta Beauty and I also ordered some stuff online and then I think I just got two things from uh, Urban Outfitters. So let's start from Urban Outfitters, that's where I got the least stuff from and um, is it in urban outfitters they sell clothing but there's also a section of like some weird makeup some extra stuff so I got these uh, Rilla Kuma under eye uh, patches look look how pretty it is it's so cute and then I got this um, glossy pop thing it says it's a lip balm and a lip gloss duo i honestly got it just because it's pretty i, I have no idea if it's good i'm pretty sure it's gonna suck i want to open it with you guys right i got it i got it oh hey no! Wait, it's. I thought it was lip gloss. I just wasted 10 bucks. Okay, good. Now I know that this is bullshit. Moving on. From ColourPop, I ordered online these two palettes. So one is this blue one. This is a blue tone shade palette. It's really, really beautiful. Then I also got this palette that has these purple pink tones and then I don't know how it was possible but I apparently by mistake I ordered also this um, mascara uh, I tried it on once I mean it smells like a mascara it's not that great but you know what for six bucks it'll do moving on I also ordered online by uh, Lime Crimes website I got this liquid eyeshadow which is kind of gold then I also got it in the blue color. Lastly, I got this freckle pen. This is really interesting. So you see, it looks like this. Focus. It looks like this. And then you just attempt, hoping not to fail, <laughs> to uh, draw, uh, draw pimples. What the hell? No. Freckles. Freckle, freckle, freckles on your beautiful face. All right. Oh my god, did I? Okay, no. I went here in New York to Glossier. So I got the uh, Milky Jelly Cleanser in, um, in a mini size. It's just a simple cleanser. A lot of people say that it's really, really good. I got the Boy Brow, which is the, um, a brow gel. I've been liking it a lot so far. I also got two clot paints in Puff and Dust. Look, and they also got me this um, sticker. I have so many stickers by them. I always put them on my laptop. I went to Ulta Beauty here in New York. It's located in the Upper East Side. I got not that much stuff, but it's cool stuff. So I got the setting spray by Morphe. It's a continuous setting spray, so like you see, it keeps going. It smells amazing and I just love it. It's, it's perfect. Then, oh my freaking God, I got uh, by Beauty Bakery this blush palette. Look how pretty it is. You guys, this is insane. This is so pretty. Although like this is falling apart, the cotton candy. These are the shades. Also reminds me of a blush. 
but also of a highlighter because when you put the blush on it looks like your cheeks are all highlighted and then again from beauty bakery i got a mini lipstick i mean look at the packaging guys it's a freaking piece of cake it's so pretty and this is a lipstick it's so tiny this is the color really really summery i think beauty bakery has the best most beautiful packaging in the world i got two lip kits by uh what is it how's she called kylie kylie jenner the lip kit comes with a pencil and uh, with the with the lip gloss i got this other color never put it on but i remember when i swatched it it was one of the most beautiful colors i've ever seen I really don't know how to make these calls because I've been looking at all these beauty gurus and they explain stuff, explain. I don't know how to do that, but um, okay. The words amazing, beautiful, and cute are the only three words that I can use for describing stuff. Then by ColourPop, I got this um, lip gloss. It's clear pink. It smells like candy, like bubble gum, really sweet. Got some brushes for my face by Morphe. Oh my God, I got these beautiful uh, coconut makeup remover, how's it, makeup removing wipes. I got them just because of the packaging, but they really smell good. They smell like coconut and vanilla. They are by Sugar Rush. I don't know if you guys know this brand, but it's like, um, a collab I think with Tarte. Speaking about Tarte, I got this beautiful uh, matte lipstick. Look at the packaging. It's so pretty. It's like a mix of pink and uh, a new tone. And I think I'm done with Ulta. Now let's talk about big things. Let's talk about Sephora. You guys, I have spent so much money in there. Oh my God. I got makeup, but mostly I spent my money into skincare. So let's start with the Sephora haul. Talking about makeup, I got this beautiful palette by Violet Boss. I've never seen such a beautiful palette. I mean the colors are so beautiful and it is really good i tried it on it's really pigmented let's try to swatch some of the oh wait you see don't know if you care but i got these uh bare minerals mineral cleansing wipes with chamomile flower extract. I got these just because i follow a blogger that i really like and she said that it removes the makeup really really well and it's true they are the best makeup remover wipes that i've ever tried from stila i got three liquid eyeshadows they are i think the best in the market i got one in pink got one in bronze color and the other one is like uh, more of a Gold. These are the swatches. They are beautiful. These liquid eyeshadows stay on your face forever. Then from Anastasia, I got this uh, nude lip gloss. And I got the same one in pink, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's probably one of my favorite lip glosses. I got the Holly Grail Tatcha. I got in the mini size the um, Silk Canvas primer oh my god it smells like tatcha products which if you try them you know how they smell they smell really uh, fresh really summer vibes they say that this is one of the most if not the most best primer at the moment i tried it and i can confirm that this is amazing this is solid but then when you put it on your face it's like uh it, it dissolves so it's kind of like um i don't know if you know but like it's like um it's like a the clinique take the day off um, cleansing balm it's like the texture is the same if you're looking for a primer get this one i got the violet c brightening serum i didn't even open it look at the packaging look how fat boo look how majestic it looks like Ooh, like doesn't it want to make you 
use the product right away. This paper, it's made out of rice. This is the serum. Also by Tatcha, I got this uh, eye serum. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't have a fragrance. Um, so I use it at night. Also, I got in mini size, the Milk Kush Mascara. This is also one of the top uh, products of Sephora. I tried it. Boom! It makes your eyelashes like a boom boom bitch. Actually got a bunch of stuff in a mini size because uh, here in the US they are obsessed with uh, travel sizes. I got by Milk Makeup this, uh, what is that? Uh, I think this was actually limited edition highlighter and then this was also limited edition glitter stick for sure you're not gonna see anything from here you can put this stick as a highlighter you can apply this on your body on your face and i just got it out of the fridge it's also in a mini size i got this cooling stick you put it like under your eyes it really is soothing really fresh i love it i don't know if you know but milk makeup is starting making a lot of i mean most of their products in uh in sticks i also got this uh watermelon face mask which is also a stick but it doesn't smell like watermelon. And I also got, by milk, the matcha detoxifying um, mask. Doesn't smell like matcha at all, but I tried them and they're cool. Also, I've got in mini size, I uh, got uh, the watermelon brightening serum. And I think we're done with milk makeup. From Fresh, I got this rose deep hydration facial toner that has roses inside. A lot of people say that this is also one of the best um, toners on the market and it's one of the best sellers in Sephora. I, I've been using it and it makes your skin really glow. I don't know how it was possible, but I think the girl at the, the cashier did a mistake, but she put like by accident, I think, uh, the, a rose mask. Also by Fresh, it has real rose petals. Then I got by Marc Jacobs the dewy drops. So first of all, I have a lot of um, makeup by Marc Jacobs, and every single thing that I tried, it was the best. So this is basically a, 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 a highlighter but it's for your face. So you put your primer on, then you apply this on, and then you put the foundation. Oh my God, it does miracles. If you put this under your foundation, it's gonna make your skin glow. And you're not gonna be looking oily, you're just gonna naturally glow. This is also pricey, but 101% recommend it. If I would have to recommend, I don't know, like five products, five top products for your makeup, this is gonna be it. Talking about Marc Jacobs, I got a palette. I got these colors because I was looking for a peachy, pinky, very neutral tones. Uh, I've used it a couple of times and I mean Marc Jacobs never lets me down. It's really tiny so you can carry it with you everywhere. I saw a lot of people talking about glow recipe. I also saw Ariana Grande having this so I'm like, I'm gonna buy it too, I'm gonna try it. So I got, well first of all, let's talk about the packaging, it's so pretty. I got by Glow Recipe the Watermelon Sleeping Mask. You can apply it as a mask or you can also apply it, um, apply it and sleep with it. Then, also by Glow Recipe, I got this uh, mist. Before you use it, you have to shake it and then you spray it and Oh my god, it smells like watermelon. I feel like if you put this in the fridge, it's gonna be even more refreshing. This is perfect for the summer. Everybody's loving it. Totally recommend this as well. Then I got something really weird. I got by Incredible Batty. I don't know if you guys know who she is, but she's like a badass, mad old lady on Instagram who dresses very colorfully. I got this. A freaking nipple mask. I want to see how it looks like. Oh my god, this is sick. Do women have 
this big ass nipples. All right, so I'm gonna put it back. Uh, I wanted to make a video. I finished my amazing powder by Marc Jacobs, so I got this one by Laura Mercier. Everybody is using only this powder and everybody loves it, so I've been wearing it, I've been using it for a while, and you guys, it's, it's perfect. By Lancome, I got uh, the, the toner with, what does it have? It's a rehydrating toner with, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but like in Italian it's acacia, acacia honey. But I don't know why it smells like roses. You guys, I think I paid for this like 60 or like 80 bucks. I'm not joking, but what are you gonna do? It's Lancome, so you know you're gonna pay for the quality. I use this for Sally eye cream. It's a, it's a brightening eye cream, so I use this one during the day. It smells like turmeric. Then, I got this. This is Patrick Ta's Highlightening Mist. To spray this, I didn't try it yet because I know it's tricky to apply it, but let's try it. Oh my god! Alright, you know what? Let me try to do this. Patrick Ta is a makeup artist. For those of you who don't know, did you know? I didn't know. Did it do something? I don't know. I won it, I got it, I won it, I got it. Oh, and then, this is why I spent so much money overall. Because of the next product I'm gonna be showing you. I bought Drunk Elephant's products. They are really expensive. Really expensive. But everybody says, they're like holy grail. So I'm like, okay, maybe if I do an investment for my skin, it'll get better. First of all, they are very cute. They come like, they're, you see they're like very colorful. You see like they're, they're all have different colors. The first product by Drunk Elephant is the hydrating serum. It contains vitamin B5 and the pineapple ceramide. Looks expensive. I also got the TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum. I got this Protini Polypeptide Cream. It's a moisturizer. You have to like pump it out from here and the product comes out. And lastly, Sukari TLC Baby Facial Lisson. This is a um, we have to make a cut. Yes, okay, now okay, this is an exfoliant. You have to use this exfoliant only once a week because it's really potent. It has 25% of AHA. I think like it's even uh, prohibited in Canada, but not here in the US. It also comes, oh my God, I didn't know, with the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. And uh, oh my God. It took me a freaking hour to find this haul. Most of the products, I think, they are not sold in Italy. Yeah, that's all I got. That's how I spent $2,000, if not more. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Let me know what you guys think about all these products. Let me know which products you want to try which products like are alluring to you positive vibes positive times i'll see you next time arrivederci